I do hope that I have left a few footprints behind that may be of value to those who come after me. Just as I have benefited from the footprints of those who I followed to this most wonderful of institutions, the People's House. Dennis Hastert, the man you saw just there, was this century's very first Republican Speaker of the House. He held the Speaker's gavel from 1999 to 2007. He got the job after the hasty departure of his predecessor, Newt Gingrich. That's because when Republicans lost five seats in the House during the 1998 elections, they turned on Gingrich. And his longtime ally, Congressman Bob Livingston, threatened to challenge Gingrich for the speakership. So Gingrich resigned and was ultimately replaced by Hastert. To this day, Dennis Hastert remains the longest serving leader of the Republican conference. And Hastert might have retired in the good graces of his party, except that several years after his resignation, Hastert was convicted of financial crimes related to child sex abuse. So, then there was John Boehner, who, as Speaker in 2015, faced the threat of a motion to vacate from Congressman Mark Meadows. That motion never came to a vote, but the effort alone led Boehner to resign in the middle of his term. He served for four years as Speaker. And then there was Paul Ryan. His time as Speaker coincided with Donald Trump's election and a new era of politics, and the Republican Party, for that matter. Ryan reportedly told friends that serving as Speaker during the Trump administration was, quote, agonizing. Trump went after Ryan with public insults, in addition to Trump's near daily controversies that Ryan had to govern through. About 30 months into the job, Paul Ryan opted to vacate the speaker's chair and also to retire from public office entirely. And now, as of today, Kevin McCarthy, the party's fourth speaker this century, served for 269 days before being ousted by members of his own party in an historic vote. So by our count here, as my friend Chris Hayes pointed out to me, arguably the most successful Republican Speaker of the House in the 21st century was a serial child molester. Now, to be fair, it is only 2023. The GOP has 77 more years to burnish its legacy this century. But wow, does the trajectory so far not look great.